Hello, welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday with Lynn Allen. This week I'm on vacation. You can see by these lovely drapes behind me. <laughs> um, but I wanted to share with you a tip before I went off to relax by the pool. So don't hate me. Please don't hate me. Um, I needed a vacation. So I hope that you're having a good week this week. I'm going to be sharing with you a tip on another express tool. You guys know how much I love my express tools. And this one ha is really comes in handy if you have text objects that are lying on top of other objects and you want to be able to see the text more clearly. So you can get to text mask from the express tools tab on the ribbon. Those of you who aren't using the ribbon or are not on a release that has the ribbon, no problem. You'll find there's an express tools pull down as long as you're using AutoCAD, not an LT unfortunately, just an AutoCAD. And I have some text right here. As you can see, it's lying on top of other objects and I want it to stand out. I want to mask the objects underneath. So I'm going to go to the uh, text panel. I'm going to use this drop down list and there you'll see hiding is text mask. It's a very simple command. All I have to do is select the text that I want to work with, hit an enter, and you'll see that it masks it. Very, very simple, right? So it actually places a wipeout object um, along with the text to hide the other objects underneath. Let's kind of take a look at this guy. I'm going to select this and you'll see if I move the text somewhere else, I want you to see that the wipeout goes with it at this point in time, the wipeout goes with it. And you do have control over a couple of things. Let's just go back into the text mask command and I want you to notice that there's an option for offset so I can control how big that wipeout is outside. And you'll also see that there's an option for the mask type. So let's take a look at those types. Now, by far and large, you know, the most people I know, they use the wipeouts. Um, you could, if you wanted to, you could use a 3D face as a wipeout, or you could use a solid where you'll actually have to tell it what color you want that solid to be. I am partial to wipeouts. So I'm going to leave it at that. Now, in some circumstances, you may decide that you want to edit the wipeout, maybe, you know, change the, the area that it covers, maybe not keep it rectangular. You cannot edit it unless you turn T-frames on. I'm going to key in the word T-frames. And it's a toggle, so you just key it in and it toggles it to the opposite value. And you'll see that now there's a frame, right, around the wipeout. And I could technically come in here and I could select that and I could make some changes to it if I wanted to. And, you know, control the actual shape of the wipeout, which in some circumstances you might decide that you want to do. All right, I am going to actually turn T-frames back off, so it's gone, put it back to the way it was before. So what if I decide that I want to unmask my text? Not a problem. Let's just go back up to the text drop down here on the Express Tools part of the ribbon, and I'm going to select Unmask Text. It's just that simple. Pick the text string that you want to put it back to the way it was before, and voila, there it is. Now I'm going to move my cursor and let it sit there just right on top of that text so that Quick Properties tells me that that is single line text. And if I move my cursor down here, I want you to notice that this is M text. Give it just a second. All right, so I want you to know that that you'll find that this text mask works just fine on M text too. Let's try it. Text mask. I'll go ahead and I'll select this M text. You'll see not a problem works exactly the same. All right. Now I, I want you to, as I mentioned to you before, as I, if I try to move this, it actually moves as a group, right? It is a group. There's something called a group in AutoCAD. I'm not too sure how familiar you are with groups, and that's another tip for another day. But they are grouped together. Now there is this top secret key combination of a control H that actually ungroups objects inside of AutoCAD. And now I want you to see if I select the text that I can actually move just the text and leave the wipeout behind. So some of you by accident might have groups off and you'll go, why is my text mask working like this? I want you to know control H that's going to fix it for you. Okay. One last thing you will find some, you will find that if you use text mask in paper space and put it on top of model space objects that when it comes time to print, they're not going to print correctly because what I want you to understand is that the the model space objects are always printed first and the paper space objects are are printed later and consequently you'll never be able to mask model space objects with with these paper space wipeouts so what your job is going to be to do is to go into model space and if you run into the situation and you want to use a text mask always use it in model space all right so there's my tip give text mask a try and I'm going to go off and try to enjoy my vacation. And I hope that you have a great week at work. Thank you so much for joining me.